When I first saw the Doji V20, I was amazed. The phone brings in a new choice for people who need a rugged phone. The V20 is basically a rugged phone with a flagship look and a great screen. As soon as I saw the box of the Doji V20, I knew it was different from the other rugged phones. When you open the box, you can see the rich accessories inside. One of the most eye-catching one is a white pry bar. So I have to say that Doji is really thoughtful. It helps you to open the SIM card slot and charging port to avoid damaging your nails. And the phone comes with a pre-installed tempered film protector. However, Doji still adds an extra anti-explosion film in the box as well. The power brick here is a 33 type C charger and we tested its compatibility performance and found that it performed well supporting PD 3.0 and PPS. It also comes with a USB type C to type A female cable and as you can see, the V20 is already better than most rugged phones right from its unboxing. I thought that there would be nothing much to say about the design of the rugged phone. It's just a rubberized case with a few cameras in the middle. The bezel has some screws and that's it. But the design of the V20 does have some unique features. The rubber around the perimeter is not very raised and the overall look is relatively flat. The material on the back is real carbon fiber and it is very smooth to the touch and won't get easily damaged. The most notable feature of the design is the camera module. Rectangular camera modules are common, but the small screen next to it is very interesting. Yes, it's a small touch display. Time can be displayed and songs can be switched. It also comes with the tempered film pre-applied. But unfortunately, the rear screen can't be used to show the camera preview. Looking at the three lenses, we seem to have seen this design somewhere, right? Anyway, you won't see such a special design on other rugged phones. It has NFC and customizable buttons, which Doji calls the easy key for customizable shortcuts. It also has a SIM card tray with micro SD card slot support. Except for the lack of a headphone jack, the phone has all the features you'd want on a rugged device. But if you think that the design of the V20 is its biggest selling point, you are in for a surprise. The phone's biggest selling point is actually the display. While other rugged phones are using LCD screens, the V20 is already using an OLED panel. This OLED display comes with a maximum brightness of 500 nits and definitely ranks on top among rugged phones. So now, let's compare it with other rugged phones featuring LCD displays. It is pretty obvious that there are shadows around the LCD screen of other rugged devices and the black areas are not pure black either. However, the V20 has none of these issues. The colors are vivid and the contrast is high, so you can enjoy a good experience with a high quality screen. Even outdoors, a good screen must be protected. The protective glass of Corning Gorilla plus the tempered film is enough to ensure that the screen is not broken when dropped at a height of 1.8 meters. All interfaces are waterproof and it is even IP68 and IP69K certified. The camera system of the V20 consists of a 64 megapixel main camera paired with an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and 20 megapixel night vision camera. This camera system has performed well in the past few days of use. Because the main camera doesn't have 4 in 1 pixel in auto mode like other phones, you get a clear and sharp photo most of the time. The benefit of the native 64 megapixel is that you can crop the photo and it will still be sharp. Night mode is sometimes blurrier than photos taken in auto mode, so you can actually use auto mode for all scenes. So unless the environment is very dark, there is no need to switch to the night mode. The ultra-wide camera can help you capture a wider range of images, but of course, its photo quality is still inferior compared to the main camera. The night vision camera is actually an infrared camera, but unfortunately, this camera cannot autofocus. When you're too close to the subject, infrared fill light will flash to remind you that the object is not in focus but when you move away from the object, it will return to normal. This will reduce your chances of getting a blurrier picture. And if you're using the video mode, the IR fill light will not flash. The Doji V20 uses the Dimensity 700 processor. We have seen this processor in many rugged phones, but we still decided to test its performance. The Antutu benchmark score is 350,000 and the 3D mark score is 1102. As long as we don't make things difficult for this processor, it has no problem handling daily applications and light gaming. 
For example, PUBG is also stable at 40 FPS. It has a large battery capacity of 6000 mAh and you can use it for 2-3 to three days without charging. While the Mi 20 may not have the largest battery capacity we've ever seen, it's definitely one of the fastest charging rugged phones in the market. And it supports 15W wireless charging too. This is definitely not common among rugged phones. To conclude, the rugged phone market is pretty uniform and there are hardly any phones that can distinguish itself from the crowd. And the 2G V20 is one of them. It has an OLED screen and a unique design that no one else has. It gives the target users a new choice and that's the biggest point of its existence. So that's it for our 2G V20 review. This is Sean from Gizmo China and we'll see you next time.